Okay, so I decided to do a quick little video here on how to change the frequencies in the TK690 so you can get into the 6 meter band. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the model and the model information here. Uh, make sure the model type here is set to the TK690 and then the frequency we want to have here at the 40 to 50 megahertz range. And in here in this next screen, it's going to be putting in all your receiving and transmitting frequencies. But you're going to want to do it 10 megahertz below what you want. So 42, 44, and 43, because here in a minute we're going to change those all into the 52 to 54 and 53 megahertz range. So you get in that 6 meter band. Um, once you got all your frequencies in there, what you're going to want to do is save those into the folder where your hex editing program is. So here I just did a, just a quick test one and we're going to save it. And then we're going to want to make sure we're completely closed out of the Kenwood program. We do not want to have it open when we go in to edit the, the hex files here. So. Now in your hex editing program here, it's gonna ha it gives you two versions. You got a DOS version and you got a Windows version. Um, now you can only edit in one or the other as far as that particular file goes. So if you start editing the file in DOS, you're gonna have to keep editing in DOS. If you edit in Windows, you'll have to keep editing in Windows. Um, so I'm going to use the Windows version here. Uh, and the first thing it asks for is the file name, which mine I just named the file test. Um, and just don't forget to do the DAT for the file extension here. And this is going to open up our file. Um, now in here it's pretty much DOS looking. Um, so of course your mouse and the number pads on the keyboard are not going to work. So everything's the top row of numbers and your arrow keys. So in here, it's got a, a long list of, of different things. Um, most of it is not going to pertain to what we need to change these to the six meter band. Um, but what we are going to want to do is go all the way down into the 1800 range. And you'll see here, on the left hand side it's all it's counting down in tens for us so we can just kind of keep watching it until we see you know the 1800s which here are my three frequencies 1840 1815 1860 and you'll notice right here on the last row for these are you actually you're receiving and you're transmitting frequencies just wrote out a little bit differently but these last row here where you see the 04 is what the only thing we need to edit here. So what we need to do here is we need to change all of those 04s to 05s. And then once once you've got those, of course, if you have more frequencies, it's gonna you'll just have to keep going down for all of them. But once you get them switched, you'll just hit the F2 button on your keyboard and we can close that out. We are done with that. And then we want to go back over to our Kenwood program here and we're just going to go in and open that test folder or your frequency list here and you'll notice everything is now 52, 54, 53. Everything's in your 6 meter band and ready for you to program into the radio.